Skip Webb here with some exciting news oh. from James House. The James House is always exciting, isn't it? Hit the water. <laughs> yeah. Good evening. Well, this is this is more exciting, I think, than anything that I've reported to you the, the uh, 14 years of my activity. Um, first, want to thank you for. Uh, giving me this appointment, but even more so the appointment that you gave me in September. Uh, you're backing unanimously of the LCHIP grant meant a lot in our obtaining that grant. Um, we didn't get all the money that we were expecting. Uh, we asked for money to uh, put siding on the house to restore all the windows, uh, to restore all the floors, and to put a back staircase in. Now that would also be a restoration. There is, is a back staircase, but you can't walk on it. What we've gotten is a $28,000 grant. That means we will be spending $56,000 because it's a matching grant. We'll be spending $28,000 of our own money. You look as though you have a question. That's exciting. No. <laughs> you made me happy. We'll have plenty of uh, this will allow us to put siding on the entire outside of the house and also restore all the windows in the house. We'll also allow us to add a handicap door so that the handicap can see what the first floor is like. We still can't get them up to the second floor. And the little L that doesn't have any windows in it, it will have windows in it again. So what has looked like a bad piece of real estate that everyone is laughing about because it's covered over with plywood is going to look like one of your pristine pieces of real estate. We have two years to do the restoration. The uh, carpenter, our master carpenter, is going to be Bob Pothier. He's worked on the house since the beginning of it being uh, termed as a, as a museum and from the start of the restoration. He is considered as one of the best master carpenters in New England. So we're very lucky to have him and he's doing it at a reduced price for us. And it's that reduced price also that helps get the grant. I want to thank all of those people that backed us with their membership, with their donations, because we wouldn't have been able to come up with the match money if it wasn't for that. Uh, the other critical part of getting that was uh, charitable gaming. Uh, we started in Milford for four years, and then we, uh, for about uh, three years, have done it uh, at, at Atlantic uh, Gaming, uh, Oceanfront Gaming, down at the beach. We are asking as many of you as can to join the James House this coming year. Now, why am I asking the residents of Hampton to join? It is critical that we end up with restored flooring and with that back care staircase being restored. So we're talking about another $5,000 that Elchip feels we can make on our own. If we make it on our own, Elchip will consider giving us a grant after that expenditure for the cement work, uh, for the walls, the ceilings. Now that's not critical to the museum, as those of you who know 
and have been in it. Um, but it would clean it up a little bit. You wouldn't have the holes in the ceiling with the uh, mess coming down from the from the rodents, the squirrels, and the and the mice. And um, so, if you can help us out this one year, even if you haven't joined before, you join now. And I can assure you, you're going to have two very good programs on opening day and also the Harvest Festival. Hmm. I'd like to switch to something else. We have a program that is fairly new. We tested it last year. It's continuing this year. It's offered to high school students and the high school students get two classroom credits for each year that they participate. Now when you think of it, two year, two classroom credits, that's six credits in addition to what you have to show the colleges as far as your academics is concerned. The program is the James House Junior Director Program. And this is a good time to sign up because you're coming back off of your Christmas break. And they're giving you a time through your guidance department to sign up for this program. What you will learn is actually everything as far as the running of a nonprofit organization is concerned. You will learn the finances, you will learn the problems of interfacing with the public, you will learn the problems of collecting donations. You will participate in every way except for the final vote. And the only reason why we have to remove the view from the final vote is because you aren't 18 years of age or older. Those of you who are 18 or older, we can allow you to vote and be a full director. We have four girls in the program now. All of them are also docents at Strawberry Bank. I got a call from Stanford, uh, sorry, from Stanford, <laughs> from Portsmouth High School. They have a student that's interested. They will offer the same thing, the two credits for participation per year. They have one student that will be joining us next week. How do you get involved with this? Look at our website, James House Museum Hampton. That's all you have to put in. It will be one of the first few to show up on your screen. Look over the website, see if it fits your interest. It tells you how to contact me. Contact me, I will give you a tour of the James House. No obligation, it's just to make sure that you are comfortable with what we're asking you to do. We'll discuss the whole program with you. Why and don't then, we bring that to the Board of Selectmen and let them ask you some questions. We have Mr. Waddell here, he was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, great job. Uh, Skip, great job in getting the grant. Great job with that program. I think it's super. Uh, I, th I think you're doing everything really, really well down there. And, you know, it's a really great endeavor for the town, and, and it's just part of the history. It's super. Mr. Bridal? Well, I drive by that place at least once <laughs> or twice a day. Uh, it, it's good to see how well you have been a caretaker of that property. You've done an excellent job. I do got to say, you, you got to go over and check the shed because the door is blown open. I got that today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys do an excellent job, uh, all, all your board of directors. I, I know I see them over there, and I see you're in there taking care of the property, the grass, the, the stuff. You, you, 
have done an excellent job over the years of taking care of the property. Congratulations on your grant. Uh, I'm glad to see you have the junior director program. I think that's a great opportunity for students, and uh, hopefully you'll you'll get a few more from just listening tonight. So thank you. Yeah, Skip has been joined with a lot of people over there helping him, people like Ann Kaiser is another one, bit one that's really worked hard there through the years, and I think this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. We really owe it, and to think you're sharing it all with the school, it's amazing. It's really great. Ann Kaiser is actually one of our prime Charter people. Charter members, yeah. yeah. She, she helped to forward the organization tremendously. She's very active. Mrs. Wolseley. It's just it's amazing what you've done with that historic property. Would you like to tell the visitor, the uh, viewers who are watching, what the annual membership is? How much is the annual membership? Uh, the annual membership is forty dollars per family. It's twenty-four. Sorry, twenty-five dollars per individual. It's uh, ten dollars per student. That's certainly reasonable. And um, even though we don't have a business category, when you look at the categories, business categories really start at $100. And if people want to mail you a check or ask you for a membership, where would they send? They send it to the James House Association, Inc., Post Office Box 234, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. Great. Post office box 234. What happens, um, Skip, if the people uh, joined last year? Do you send out notice that they need to pay up again this year, or what? how does that work? Yes, uh, we send out a newsletter that explains everything that's happened during the past year and what we're expecting to do in the coming year. So when uh, do that people... newsletter also includes an insert for... Uh, reapplying for membership. So when people join last year, when is their membership due to be for this year? Uh, they will receive that in uh, in June. Okay. And that's when they would be so forwarding their checks. So a lot of people are already. A lot paid of people up though uh, hold it off. But some people give it to us and mm -hmm. it's, uh, throughout the year. Good. Yeah. We'll collect membership. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of people might be waiting till pay it after the first of the year, so they get credit on their uh, yeah. charitable giving exemptions That's right. for next year. Uh, your membership is one hundred percent charitable donation. So. Um, that's another thing to think about. Thank you, Rick, for reminding me of that. You can take uh, the, the I amount believe I, jo off I know of I taxes. joined last year, and um, that's why I wasn't really sure of when I owe. I'm always owe somebody something. So I guess I'm okay till June, but I'll be glad to pay it early. Mr. Bean. I have no questions. Thank you for a great job. Um, do you have any other points to make tonight, Scott? Yes, I have one uh, very important point, and that is... Um, as you know, I've served as president of the association for many years. Um, I'm 75. Still young. Uh, I'm to the point now where I should be training somebody else and somebody else should be taking the reins. Uh, otherwise, I might not be here to train somebody else. So <laughs> uh, we are looking for a president. Uh, we have an excellent board of directors, as, as Jim Waddell mentioned, and uh, so did Rusty Bridal. Um, yeah, Rusty, you'd be a great president. <laughs> the nomination. Thanks. <laughs> I think you do a wonderful job, Rick. <laughs> so we are looking for a new president. Um, the board is, uh, the, the, even though they're a wonderful board, uh, no one on the board wants to accept that responsibility. Uh, they are they are doers and, and idea people, but they they don't want the the burden of the responsibility of the property and uh, and the programs. Sounds and like you better stay healthy, Skip. <laughs> Uh, the president does not have to be a 
Hampton resident. Um, we have uh, two uh, directors now, one from Dover and one from Northampton. Um, Northampton one has been a director, actually was a president for, uh, for two years, and that's Bob Dennett. Uh, he's still with us. He is the longest serving member. So if anyone is interested, look at the website again. See if you're comfortable. Contact me. Send me your resume. I'll pass it to the directors. And uh, hope we can find a replacement early enough so that I can uh, have uh, time to train the person. I will be staying on as a director if the membership allows me to, which I think they will, uh, until uh, a new president is fully trained. Well, I think I can speak for the board here and assure you that we'll all bring it to, if we meet anyone that we think will be interested, we'll be glad to tell them about it. So Super. thank you tonight for coming in. You've done a lot. We appreciate Finding it. Finding something to too has a lot to do with uh, how long the association runs the museum before it passes to the Historic Society. We know that they don't want it. It's really a pass to you people. Mm -hmm. So Okay, well, great. Thanks, Skip. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman? Yes? Uh, sometimes uh, re nice reporters are looking for human interest stories and special <laughs> stories. So <coughs> you might have a member of the media uh, contacting you, perhaps, and get a little publicity out. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, that in tonight, is Skip. behind us, and he's going to be talking to me tomorrow about another thing. And he heard this tonight, so I'm sure he'll be talking to me about Thank it. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you, Skip. We appreciate Thank it. Thanks, Skip.